Most people don't question the world they wake up in, but not you. You saw something, felt something, a glitch, a gap, a whisper. Welcome to Quantum Cracks. Tonight we open the file on CERN and the multiverse. Have you ever wondered if there are other universes out there, other dimensions beyond our own? What if I told you that we may have already accidentally opened a portal to one of these parallel worlds? Sounds crazy, right? Well, it's actually a popular conspiracy theory among many people who are fascinated by the idea of the multiverse. This theory suggests that scientists at the European Organization for Nuclear Research, it's also known as CERN, may have accidentally opened a portal to another dimension using the Large Hadron Collider, the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator. So how did this theory start, and what evidence is there to support it? Let's take a closer look. To understand this conspiracy theory, we need to first take a look at the Large Hadron Collider. As mentioned earlier, the Large Hadron Collider is the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator. It's located near Geneva in Switzerland, and is operated by CERN. The LHC was built to allow scientists to smash together protons and other particles at incredibly high speeds in order. To study the fundamental building blocks of the universe, the theory of general relativity tells us that the universe began in a hot, dense state and has been expanding and cooling ever since. The LHC allows scientists to recreate conditions similar to those just after the Big Bang by smashing together particles and recreating the high-energy environment of the early universe. Scientists can then analyze the resulting collisions to learn more about the fundamental nature of reality. But some people believe that recreating these conditions could be dangerous. They argue that smashing together particles at such high energies could tear holes in the fabric of space-time, potentially allowing access to other dimensions or alternate realities. This idea is based on the fact that according to some interpretations of quantum mechanics, empty space is actually full of virtual particles that pop in and out of existence. These particles are too small and too short-lived to be detected directly, but their effects can be measured. By smashing together particles at very high energies, it's possible to create conditions in which these virtual particles become real. And according to some theories, this could potentially create a black hole or a wormhole that leads to another dimension. The idea of CERN opening a portal to another dimension gained. Further traction in 2012 when scientists at the LHC announced the discovery of the Higgs boson, particle that's responsible for giving other particles their mass. The discovery of the Higgs boson was a major achievement for particle physics and was seen as a confirmation of the standard model of particle physics which describes the fundamental particles and forces of nature. But some people took this discovery to mean something else entirely. They believed that the experiment had triggered a shift in reality, causing the universe to change in ways that we don't yet understand. This idea is sometimes referred to as the Mandela Effect, which is a term used to describe instances where a large number of people share a false memory of a historical event. Proponents of the multiverse theory believe that the shift in reality caused by the detection of the Higgs boson is evidence of the existence of parallel dimensions and that the Mandela effect is actually a form of interdimensional interference. However, there's no scientific evidence to support this claim. In fact, CERN has officially denied that there's any possibility of the LHC opening a portal to another dimension. They state that the LHC is safe and that the experiments conducted at the collider are strictly scientific. Despite this, the idea that powerful science could unintentionally unleash forces beyond our understanding continues to spark intrigue. So what do you think? Is it possible that CERN has opened a portal to another dimension? Or is this just a far-fetched conspiracy theory? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. We'd love to hear your opinion, whether you believe in the multiverse or not. It's clear that the human desire to understand the fundamental nature of reality is a powerful one. We're constantly pushing the boundaries of what we know and exploring new frontiers in our quest for knowledge. From the ancient Greeks who pondered the nature of the cosmos to the modern day scientists at CERN, we've always been curious about the world around us and our place in it. And it's not just our curiosity that drives us forward, but also our fear. Fear of the unknown, fear of what we might find out and fear of what we might unleash. The idea of a parallel universe or alternate reality is both fascinating and terrifying. The thought that there are other worlds out there with different versions of ourselves, living different lives is a tantalizing one. 
but the idea that we could accidentally unleash forces that we don't understand is equally frightening. The LHC is a machine that allows us to explore the unknown, but it's also a machine that can be feared. It's a machine that some believe could bring about the end of the world. But despite our fears, we press on. We push the boundaries of what we know because the thirst for knowledge is a powerful motivator. We want to understand the world around us and our place in it. And we're willing to take risks to do so. At the heart of this fear and fascination is the idea that we're not alone. That there are other beings out there that we don't know about. Other dimensions that we haven't discovered yet. The idea that there are other universes out there, each with its own unique set of laws and constants, is a compelling one. It's an idea that's captured the imagination of scientists and science fiction fans alike. But it's also an idea that it's been used to sell everything from conspiracy theories to fake news. The multiverse is a concept that's been popularized by authors like Stephen Hawking and Michio Kaku, but it's also been used by those looking to make a quick buck. The idea of a parallel universe is a seductive one. It's the idea that there are other worlds out there where we can live out our fantasies, where we can be whoever we want to be. It's the idea that there are other universes where we can escape the constraints of our own. But the truth is that the multiverse is nothing more than a fantasy. It's a fantasy that we've created in our own minds because we're afraid of the unknown. We're afraid of the idea that we're alone in this universe, that there's nothing else out there, that there's no one else. We're afraid of the idea that we're just a random chance occurrence, that we're just here by accident, and that there's no meaning to any of it. So we create our own meaning. We create our own stories, and we believe in them because we need to believe in something. For some, the multiverse is just a fun way to think about the universe. For others, it's a way to make sense of the world around them. And for others still, it's a way to make a quick buck. But whatever the reason, it's important to remember that the multiverse is just a fantasy. It's not real. There's no evidence to support it, and there's no reason to believe in it. So the next time you see a headline about the multiverse or parallel universe, take it with a grain of salt. Don't let your imagination run wild. Don't let fear dictate your beliefs. The universe is a vast and mysterious place, but we shouldn't let that stop us from understanding it. We should embrace the unknown and be curious about the world around us. That's what makes us human. The fear of the unknown is a powerful force, but it shouldn't be allowed to control us. We shouldn't let fear dictate our beliefs or drive us to extreme actions. We should stay grounded in reality and focus on understanding the world around us. Well, that's all for this episode. Please subscribe for more videos like this, and thanks for watching. Leave a comment below and share your thoughts.